Today I'm coming at you with another tool for you to have a quick win and to have a happy and connected relationship. So, and that is all about asking questions. I've been getting a lot of emails, uh, Facebook messages, all kinds of things from people saying, hey, I'm, I, heard, I listened to your podcast on asking questions. I, you know, I'm listening to different things. I still don't know if I'm doing it right. Can you give me something like a quick hit about this? So here's my quick hit about it. And I think that asking questions transforms relationships like nothing else. It really does. And again, you just have to ask them the right way. And it's not that hard to do it correctly, to do it in a, when I say correct, I mean in an open, loving way. And basically, all you have to do first is have an intention of curiosity. And this is hard. This is probably the hardest part of it. I need you to really want to know their answer. Not you think you know the right answer, you're sure of what they're thinking, you know, get rid of that crap. It's such crap, people. You cannot read minds, stop it, just stop it. It's not loving, it's not kind, it's not gentle, and it's not vulnerable. And those are the things you need if you wanna have a loving relationship, a connected, wonderful, easy, laugh-filled, fabulous relationship. You can't have them being a know-it-all. So cut that crap out and instead ask questions to clarify, to get more information. Remember, I always say don't sack your relationship. Don't give suggestions, offer advice, or criticize. Instead, ask questions. Now, number one, don't ask questions disguised as suggestions. Hey, have you tried blah, blah, blah? That, that's just a suggestion. So you're cheating, cut that out. Instead, I want you to ask questions with the thought of, I really need to get more information. I need to get the bottom of this. I don't understand why we are having such an impasse about this conversation. So one of my favorite things to do is to um, ask first when I see that we're really having a miscommunication or that I'm just not being heard no matter how hard I try to get my point across. Uh, I'll ask, what did you just hear me say? What, what did you hear me say just now? And I'll tell you the majority of the time when we're at an impasse, they heard something completely different than what I meant or even what I said, like the words that have come out of my mouth. And so my job at that point and your job at that point is not to say, I didn't say that, I said this, and you're putting words in my mouth. That's not helpful, not helpful. And again, remember that's, that's criticizing. So it's one of the sack things, you don't wanna do that. And instead you wanna say, ask more questions. Ooh, wow, okay, I didn't realize you were hearing all that. So, well, let me ask, what is it, you know, my interpretation was different. So let me ask, what, did, what exactly did you hear me say that made you think I was blah, 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 that I was angry or that I, you know, tell me again how you heard me say that I think you should shut up. <laughs> uh, tell me a little more about that. And then they might say that and you'll say, okay, well, so, uh, let me ask another question, you know, and so, you know, what do we need to do right now? What's one thing I can say that could help move the situation along? That's a great question to ask. Um, what's one thing I could do right now to help uh, you feel safer in this dialogue? Um, tell me how you feel when I said X. Um, what happened when I said Y? Um, you know, any of this kind of stuff is eliciting more responses and you can ask them, hey, what did you mean when by saying X, Y, or Z? What did you mean by this? You know, you can ask them what they were meaning. Another great thing to ask is, like sometimes our partners will come at us with things that aren't very nice and you can stop and say to them, hey, and again, with a loving heart, you really got to find it. You got to find it if you want to have a different kind of communication. Well, you can ask, so how did you think I was going to respond when you told me to shut up? Like, or when you called me a jerk or whatever that was, right? What were you thinking was going to be my response when you said that I did that completely wrong? Um, what were you looking for? What, what would you like to have happen now? What could we do now to make this different? These are questions meant to be curious, meant to elicit conversation, uh, meant to go back and forth, to figure out what the person's feeling, what their true intentions were, what your true intentions were. This is how you get there. You ask, ask questions, and then when you're done with that, you ask some more. And a final tip is it's always great to ask permission to ask. 
questions. <laughs> so one of the things you can do is say, hey, is this a good time for us to talk about what happened yesterday? Or, um, you know, is, or do you have time right now for us to discuss the summer camps, whatever that maybe you were arguing about before? Um, and what happens when you ask a question like that, when you ask permission, it really, and you got to wait for the answer, but it really helps the person stop and go, oh, oh, hmm, and, and get in a different frame of mind and make sure that they're not distracted and thinking about something else when you're coming at them with these important conversations. It really helps people come to the table and really focus. And it's, it's just wonderful. And again, it's kind of vulnerable. It's putting yourself out there, asking permission, really putting yourself in a situation and uh, in a context to really create open, loving dialogue because that's the goal, people, open, loving dialogue. Okay, that's it. I'm Dr. Ivy Metcalf. I help people create happy and connected relationships even if their partner won't do one thing. And you can find me online at abbymetcalf.com uh, and you can check out my podcast also on my website or at on Stitcher or iTunes or any of the wonderful places that you normally look at podcast listen to podcasts.